to Little and Rose. My name is Summer Noel, and today we are going to do a alcohol ink uh, wine glass. This is going to look like a, a stained glass glass beach scene. Now I have my chemical mask on because we already have our epoxy mixed. If you have not seen any of my other tutorials, we work with mainly epoxies. Um, this is epoxy right here. It's already mixed. You will mix part A and part B. You want an art resin epoxy. Um, if part A and B, you will mix them together. You want to wear your chemical mask and your nitrile gloves. This is your PPE gear when you work with this product. Um, when you mix it, it does uh, create uh, vapors that you want to protect your lungs from. So that is why I am wearing my chemical mask. This is a full face chemical mask. I also wear a half mask that only covers the face. So this is a half mask. Uh, but today I'm going to go ahead and wear my one with my goggles. Uh, because it's clean and it's ready to go. And I just put new filters in it. So we are ready to rock and roll. So now we're gonna make this cup look like a beach scene. Uh, we're gonna make it look like it has sand, a little whitewash in the waves. We're gonna be doing uh, the water. Um, it's really, really cool. All right, guys, so we're gonna jump right in. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we are gonna make our colors. We are gonna use, this is going to be uh, Cafe Latte. We're gonna use one drop for our sand. Just one. We don't want to be brown. We just want to be a nice, gentle sand color. Okay, so there's our sand. Then we want to use our white. I'm going to put two drops, three drops in there. Okay. This is going to be our whitewash for the water. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna do one drop. We're gonna do a light and a dark blue. So this is gonna be our light blue. Two drops of that. Basically what we're doing is with the epoxy, we're creating transparent color. And that's gonna be our, that's gonna, what's gonna make it look stained glass. It's gonna be real cool. All right, so then we're taking our dark blue. This one is, what do we call it, indigo? Sorry, this one was called pool, and this one is called indigo. We're going to put a couple drops of indigo in there as well. Woo! That one didn't drop. That one squirt. That one everywhere. So this is going to be very dark blue because it's got way too much ink in it. But we'll just go with it because I don't want to waste the epoxy. That was only supposed to have like two or three drops. It's supposed to be more transparent, but we'll just... Call it a happy accident. All right, guys, so again, you have latte, you have white, you have pool, and you have indigo. Those are the four colors I'm going to work with. Now we're going to get the turner going. This is a Little Ian Rose turner. You're going to hear the fan going because it's on um, a hard surface, so it makes a little bit more noise when it's on the hard surface. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to start painting this on. I'm going to go ahead and use my finger on this one. You usually see me use a uh, silicone brush, but that's more for when you're just doing a mass application. I want this to go in a very specific spot. So I'm going to put it, I'm just going to apply it on the cup with my finger along the bottom and along this bottom, the lower ridge. Now this color is going to be very subtle. Like I said, it's not meant to be um, opaque. It's meant to be transparent with just a little bit of that yellowy or uh, brown, like a beigey color for sand. So we're just kind of making sure this stays around a little bit bottom of the cup. And we're going to work our way up the cup with all the different colors to make it look like a beach scene. Okay. So what I do is I wipe off the silicone stick with a paper towel. Then I will wipe off my finger as well. And we will drizzle on the next color. So now the next color, we're going to take the white and we're just going to drizzle it right along the edge of the sand. This is going to be our whitewash. So we're just drizzling this along the sand. We're going to save some for the rest, for other parts. We're not going to use all the white here. We're just going to use a little bit. And we're just drizzling it, like I said, right along the edge of the beige the latte color. And we're going to save this little bit for down the road. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do the dark blue. Well, 
This is going to get tricky because this is so dark blue. All right, guys, I'm going to use all my design skills on this one. I have to try to think of how I want to play this one in. All right. So now we're going to do the same thing with the light blue. We're going to go right along the edge of the white. Because I think if I try to put the light blue and the dark blue together, it's going to wash out this light blue. So we're just going to do it like this. All right, so we're gonna let that sit like that. Now we're gonna start applying our dark blue. And this I will use my silicone brush for, for this upper part. I'm not gonna try to bring it right up against that other color yet. I'm gonna cover the rest of the cup first and just get this coverage on the big part of the cup. So you can see I'm not going all the way to the edge of this and I'm not also not going all the way to the top of the cup. We're just keeping it right in this middle like two and a half inches here. All right, perfect. All right, we're gonna have a little bit of this epoxy left over. That's okay, I'll use it for buttons. Oops. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, <clears throat> we're gonna take it and we're gonna drizzle it right up. We're gonna fill in that gap between those two colors. We're gonna put the, now we're gonna just drizzle this dark blue right up against that light blue. Okay, just like that. Let it spin for a second. You can already see the whitewash is starting to do something pretty cool. So now we're gonna take our heat gun. Normally I would use like decompressed air or a, a straw, like one of my silicone straws like this, and you can push it. Well, here, I could probably squeeze this into my chemical mask. You can use a heat gun or you can use a straw. All right, see that gives you that little bit of whitewash. Now we'll use the heat gun to push some of the dark blue in there. So what you see me doing there is using the heat gun to control where the epoxy is moving to, left or right. Um, now we're going to go ahead and apply the light, this light blue back up to the top to look like sky. So this is now meant to look where the sky is going to be meeting the ocean with the lighter color again. We're just going to drizzle this along the top. Make sure it goes all the way to the lip of the cup and touches the blue. Making sure you just go in here and work that epoxy to where it's actually physically touching the other epoxy and also touching along with the, the lip of the cup to make sure it's all the way there as well. So we're going to have a little bit left over of that. Now we're going to take the white. There's a little bit of white that we have left. 
And we're just gonna put little bits of white in the dark blue. Not a lot, we don't want a big dramatic a look. This is just meant to look like white caps on the waves. Doesn't take a lot, guys. This will go a long way. Okay, that, that little bit. Okay. Now we're gonna take our straw. I'm gonna work it inside my mask. All right, guys, so now we've got a little bit of whitewash. We've got the water. Now we're gonna pop the bubbles. We're gonna take our, our heat gun, our, I'm mean, sorry, our torch. We're gonna get it going and we're gonna start moving quickly over the cup. My butane is low, so I'm probably gonna have to fill up my butane. And I'm not sure if you can pick it up on the camera, but it's popping all the bubbles. If you're having a trouble getting the bubbles one way, reverse switch your direction. You can go horizontal and vertical. Sometimes changing directions really helps get those little micro bubbles. Holding the heat gun, I mean, sorry, holding the torch right over a tricky spot is not actually going to help you guys. That will actually create problems because it will scorch, it will actually scorch your uh, epoxy and give you tons of bubbles that you won't be able to remove. I'll be right back, guys. I've got to put more gas in my torch. All right, guys, there it is. It's so pretty. You see the very pale beige down here. Then you see this super white, here I'll put my hand behind it so you can see it a little better. You can see the super white um, whitewash and then the ocean and then the sky. It's super beautiful. Um, it's really subtle. It just looks like watercolor on a glass cup. It's very, very easy to do. You guys saw this tutorial is like five minutes long. It's very, very easy. Just put it on your turner, throw your epoxy with the colors and do your thing and let it just blend and swirl and use your silicone uh, silicone straw or a regular straw and blow the white around and make it just kind of merge and get some beautiful swirls for the water. Um, I hope you guys learned something new. This is a very, very easy cup to do. A set of these would sell very, very well in small boutiques and maybe at uh, like farmer's markets. Um, these would be really, really good options for you guys to get out there and start selling because they're easy to do. They take very little time. Um, they uh, take very little product and their price point can sell for a very decent price point. All right, guys, I hope you guys learned something new. Uh, check us out on all our other tutorials. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you make sure you see all of our tutorials and we'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Bye, guys.